Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live. It is so good to have your company. We've got two new, brand new, two new, brand new. Yes, that's correct, it's still work. Um, uh, no, it works. Look, you can tell these are live guys because, and I've got tea. It, this is water, not gin, honestly, even five o'clock's too early for me. Um, thank you so much for joining me again. And hello to all of you. Everybody's just starting to log on. Sorry, because while I just have a quick look at you, yeah, there you are. It's really good to have your company, everyone. So I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to work with a new set of dyes called Ugly Ducklings. And I have to just tell you this, because I want to do a quick little trick. I've already cut some of them out, but I, <laughs> I can not remember what they were called. And I actually said, what do we call these um, ugly ducklings? And I was with Mel Heaton, and Mel said to me, she said, why are they not ugly? She said, they're really cute. And I said, but when they grow up, they're going to grow up into beautiful swans. <laughs> they're not, they're going to grow up into ducks. <laughs> not swans. So don't think that these are going to grow up into ducklings. I mean into swans. <laughs> right, I'm putting some out. I've already cut a few of them out for you. I'm also going to be introducing you to Mr Pickles. Um, hello everyone just joining us. Thank you for joining in. It's really good to have your company. I love that every week you're putting questions out there. And guess what? We've started, well, we're moving into our new studios. So we're not going to be long before we're bringing you everything from those new locations. So I'm just getting out my little ducklings. And the reason that I am not wanting to lift this off the sheet is I want to show you this little trick. So on your reflection sheet, which you know where to go to download this, remember it's on the Highlight Crafts website, you're getting lots of those ducklings. And one of the things that I wanted to do is show you how when we're crafting, we bulk craft. So rather than have to stick the ducklings down, particularly when there's multiple images or multiple dies, what we do, we cut one, we leave it on the, on the sheet, so I've got it all here, so it's, I haven't moved anything, put this one on top. And you can see, when I lift this up, I've already gone through two sheets. So I'm about to do the same thing now. And then I'm also, when I come to Mr. Um, Prickles, and um, I'm going to, <laughs> I gotta just tell you why I'm starting to laugh. I used to, <laughs> oh dear. I think I've got a fit of the giggles coming. Um, I used to have a gynecologist called Mr. Pickles. So seeing Mr. Prickles is reminding me of him. And I was much younger at the time and he was, um, I've got a lovely, a lovely crafter who lives over in Australia, a lady called Sue, who messages me. And she has what she calls um, a cute, you know, a tasty doctor. And Mr. Pickles was one of those. How have I just gone off on that such a random tangent? Anyway, Dicotin's nearly done for us. And you're about to see just how easy it is because now when I lift off my second sheet, it's cut every one of my little ducklings and cut them all just perfectly as you can see. And we haven't had to realign our dies and you can just keep going with it. So that's another quick way of doing things. So let's move that out of the way and take a look at what we've got now. I sort of alluded to the fact that we were going to be doing viewfinders and we are doing them for you. We've got a pack of these and you get two circles, two squares, two rectangles, two ovals. They are nested shapes, so when you put them on top of each other, you're going to see that you've got a little border. Done that on purpose so that we've got two different sizes of picture, but also if you are gonna do mats and layers with your, fat, your basic dies, what you'll be able to do is see what happens when you start to do those mats and we lift things up. And the other thing that I want to do is to be able to get extra dimension when I'm teaching you. So we've made these out of 400 GSM, so they're much, much firmer. And three, a 300 cuts really easily on our on die cutting machines. 400 is a bit of a uh, bigger challenge, but it is great because look how firm they are if I'm moving them around. So just wanted to share that with you. 
And then I've got images from um, a fabulous new USB called For Every Chapter. And um, I've just here got these lovely designs. And if these ones are not from For Every Chapter, they're going to be from, well, I think they are, so we'll not worry about that bit. Somebody will correct me. Right, so I've got tons of little ducklings. Look at these. How cute are they? So I think I want to give them names. I want to call them like Boo and, and Betty and Bob and... Um, so, and tuck them round so that you've got their little faces coming round. But first of all, I'm going to show you how to make some of them swim. So we've got a little bit of water at the bottom. I'm going to take my viewfinder and I'm going to decide on what I want my picture to be. And you can see how easily these just, it's so much harder when I've got this big picture and this big piece of print and I don't know where I want to, to actually cut. And even if I take a dye, the colour around the outside edges can be not distracting, but it can influence how you start to position the elements. And we want to be in control of that part of our crafting. So I'm going to take my circles and I'm going to put these down, line up my viewfinders so that I've got that aperture and the mat and layer. And I'm just going to see where I want to go. I do like the reflection that we've got just here. So let's take these little ducks. Now, they look great on the edge of the water, but I think they would look even better. And excuse me, just read it out of shot. Just borrowed Mel heat and scissors. Better put those back in my, these are precious ones as well. And I'm just going to make him swim. So just you're just going to see a little bit of his paws going into the water, as you can see there. Then his mate is actually going to be swimming a bit. No, actually, he doesn't look right with paws. I'm going to take those off. So he is properly swimming. So there they are, properly swimming. But this is the best one. Okay. So. <laughs> yes, come <on>. <laughs> <laughs> He's going. He's looking. Look, he's gone fishing. So to make it look real, rather than going straight along the bottom, I just want you to just do a little bit of shaping. And then I'm going to take this paw off and I'm going to reposition it. And I'm going to put it so that it is coming back like that. So he looks like he's trying to swim. So let's put that down there so you can see. I'm just going to take the smallest amount of this tape and tape that in place. You could use your wet glue if you wanted. Hi everybody, I'm totally engrossed in making ducklings. Um, and they are the cutest little things. Right, let me show you how I've repositioned his paws. So I've gone from that to that. And you can see how, look how different they are. And the reason being that one goes down and this one, look, he now looks like he's flipping. He's like flipping his little feet to try and get down. He's like, Woo. and you can see him there. So I'm going to put him down there. And then the others are just swimming along. And my viewfinder is helping me create that design. So that's one thing that we can do with this collection. And aren't they cute? You're going to use them again and again and again. Right, and that's only one duckling. Remember, we've got three in this set. So let's move that viewfinder, move this collection, and I'm gonna come into this puddle. And these little ducks are in the woodland and they've come across a little bit of a river and they are just stood on the side thinking about how deep it is. Now, luckily for them, we have got one swimming over here. In fact, he is with his friend and they're both actually no let's have them a little way apart they are swimming but I want to create a puddle I want to show you how to do puddles and um, puddles so that they're sort of a little bit like this so you can see how you're changing the look and feel of the design but I also I'd like to have puddles with splashes 
So I'm going to again take my viewfinder. So this time let's go with something rectangular. And I've got a square and a rectangle there, so I need my two rectangles. You can, they're really sturdy these, aren't they? So hello everybody, new viewfinders if you've just joined us. Um, I've been sort of eluding to the fact we're having them. They're on 400 GSM cardstock, so look how supportive they are. We've cut them out of this to save you trying to cut that heavyweight card. Do you know, it's, it's time saving, they're so affordable. You get the ovals, the circles, the rectangles and the squares and it just makes it easy to frame the design. And look how I've just framed that. And if you missed it earlier, I've made my little duckling swim and I just want to show you my other one because I'm really proud of him. And he has gone looking for his lunch. So move the legs so that they he looks like he's swimming and he's kicking his feet to get down there and he's ready in there. So now these little ones have got loads of mates and there's some already on this side. There's some more to come in up here. All thinking about where they're going to go. And I love that we can get so many of these little ducklings and you can have them all over. And I've got another one here I'm just gonna pick up, sorry. Let's get that little bit out there. And you can see how you've got a whole little huddle of them. I bet there's a name for ducklings. I don't know what it is. Can you email or message, put a message under this news feed and tell us what the name is for a group of ducklings? I think, it's not a gaggle, that would be geese, wouldn't it? Or, gr <laughs> or crafters, group of crafters, that could be what it could be. Um, okay, so we've got all our little ducklings here. That looks great, and I love it as another composition. Oh, thank you for emailing, messaging. It's a brood, of course it is. Thank you, that's really fabulous. Um, yeah, I need to um, check up stuff like that before I do these. So I'm, I'm loving this, this little one. Now, he looks like he's much bigger than the others, but in fact, that duckling is the same size as that one. And it's just the perspective that we're getting. And also, look at this. So by leaning this one back slightly, he looks like he's looking up. So if I just show you here, he looks like he's looking up. He looks like he's looking forward. So. In my mind, when I'm planning this, I actually look at their eyes and drew a, li drew a line through their eye line and their beak to see which direction they were looking. And you can see this one looks like he's looking there, whereas these ones look like they're looking down there. So think about the eye line as well. Imagine that you are that little duckling looking out and seeing what you can see, looking across your little beak and seeing what you can see. Okay, so we've had two different compositions from this collection. Now I'm gonna come on to the third one. This is where we're gonna do puddles. So to do puddles, you need a piece of vellum. Now, when you tear vellum, especially this quality, and this is our printable vellum, it's quite difficult to get this, you know, a really even controlled line. And vellum, just like paper, has a grain. So when I tear it in this direction, so vertically, it's really easy to tear. But when I go across the paper, it starts to do its own thing. So going in one direction, look how easy that is. Even if I'm not up close to it, it's tearing straight. But then coming across, it just will do its own thing. So what we're going to do is, we'll take that off for now, we're going to make a puddle. And to make a puddle, hello if you've just joined, we're just making puddles. Um, so I'm just going to get a little paintbrush and some water. Now the top of my puddle is going to be quite flat and then I'm going to come round and I'm going to make it splashy at the bottom. So I'm just going to keep going round with my paintbrush and it will dry into the vellum and then you'll start to feel the vellum changing in consistency. And you'll hear the brush and it will start to drag. And as it starts to drag, you'll get tiny little pieces from the surface of the vellum 
just appearing on the top and it's almost like we're pulling, we've got little flecks of chalk on there. Just go through the middle. So I'm gonna keep going round those outside edges until I've really worked that, just go across that top even more, round the edge. Right, now what we do, we get our own pokey tool and you want to make little holes in it. Okay, so poke round and then go round here and you you literally, we're gonna join up these little holes, okay? Then we push it out. And as we push it out, as you get it started, it's easier. There we go. So as we push it out, it will tear along those little pieces. But what we should end up with are some splashes, which is what we've got. So if I pop this down here now, you can see there's my little puddle. I've got some lovely little splashes and now my ducks can go and splash in the water and you can put them so that they are having a little bit of fun just at the end of the lane. And I'm going to get my square viewfinders and let's decide where this is gonna go. So I'm just going to look at the different elements that I've got. And do you know what I think I'd quite like to do here? Let's line those up better and let's take the puddle and put it slightly over the edge of the card. Put those little little um, ducklings onto a foam pad so you get some depth to them. They're gonna look fabulous. Right now, just very quickly, one last thing I need to show you. And thank you so much everybody for joining. I know week after week you could turn up and I really do appreciate it. We're having a lot of fun at um, Highlight coming up with new ideas for you, but um, also really appreciate it when you send us ideas. So if you've got anything that you would like us to do that we've not been doing, shout and we'll do our best to be able to include it. Right, so Mr. Prickles, is he cute or what? Look at that little hedgehog. He looks like he's going hunting for his lunch. Now, I cut one of these out earlier and I didn't tape my die down and I ended up with it cutting part of it off the edge and he certainly looks like he's been in a fight because his ear's been bitten off. Well I saved it because I'm going to decoupage him so I'm put those to one side and I'm now going to use that outline die and we rarely use these but we'll use them a lot more over the coming weeks because there's a lot we can do with them. So this looks typically like my craft room does at the end of a day of crafting. It doesn't take me long to get it like this. So I've chosen where he's gonna go and I've chosen a design that's very close up. So there, that's ready to go into. Oh, see that? Uh, that's a secret accident. Oops, that didn't work either. Um, secret accident where I accidentally cut and made myself, I'm looking at the camera here. <laughs> um, made myself a, um, okay, so that's just coming through at the moment. While that's coming through, let's look at where we take Mr. Pickles. Now you can see, oh, Prickles even. <laughs> Sorry, it took me right back again. Oh dear, I hope he doesn't watch. I know he doesn't craft anyway. Um, so you can see here, I've got all these little um, cut lines on here. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to get into the elements that I need of his face and I'm just going to use the cut lines and what, if you snip and then let the scissor fall to the next cut line, you end up with it following and I can feel it. What's happening is it's like, it's almost like going along a, tr um, I know what it feels like. You know when you're dreaming and then you step off a pavement, it feels like that because you're going along and then suddenly you feel the little next little notch. So I'm literally, so you need to go quite slowly everybody and you'll feel the little notches. So again, I can feel them. I'm just wiggling my cup, my piece of paper. So, but I'm letting the notch and look at how it's working. That's why it's so, it's sort of taking on that natural shape around his face. And thank you for joining everybody. Thank you for staying with us. You guys are doing a fantastic job supporting us and we really appreciate it. So there's his little face. 
I'm going to come back here, take off my sheet. So here it is. Oh, and we're also, we're going to be doing some videos to show you how to pick, print out your reflections, different sizes. So I've got the foreground and the background here. And I'm going to use my foam, which is what have I done with that? It's mm, here it is. So please, this is this is really me doing this really roughly, but I want you to be able to just see what I'm doing. So remember, you're going to cut all yours to the right size, but I'm just there, just going to. Oops, not like that. Oops. <laughs> Just going to lift this up and get that so I've got a little bit you can see that shadow just inside there then he is gonna sit inside and I've just what we've done is we're just giving it a little bit of extra dimension but most importantly we need to do some shaping on his face so his little face and I'm going to turn it over and the first part of it that I'm going to do is his eyes and I'm gently using my ball tool, taking it round in a circle. And do you know you can tell a good ball tool when it doesn't scratch? So these are nicely polished. On his little face, his nose. So let's get that really well shaped. And his little eyes, I can feel them and I can feel his nose popping. So we've got good shaping there. And then I'm just going to pull out his fur like this. And I'm not trying to make it even or I'm not worrying about whether some are close together and some are further apart, but I'm literally just creating some little score lines for where his fur would be so that when I turn it over, he's, he's lovely and shaped but his little eyes are popping. So we're gonna take that now and place him over the top of our face. And when I then take a tiny little bit of my foam and place that down, you're gonna see how that brings him all to life. So we've left his little ears behind, so he's got lots of dimension. Let's take a viewfinder and see what this is gonna look like because I think we have got, once we get the other elements in there, a really, really fabulous design. So everybody, that's it for this week. It's just been a real quick one as always. Don't forget your viewfinders. Love the ducklings that are gonna grow up into the most beautiful ducks and also Mr. Pickles, oh, Prickles. <laughs>